So what we've done here is just put some fairly cured live rock into a Red Sea 650 reef aquarium. And so at the moment it's basically just various lumps of calcium carbonate stacked on top of each other and stacked on top of each other in a particular way to try and allow as much water flow through the reef and to try and minimize the contact with the sand itself. But as the name suggests, this is actually live rock. So therefore it's embedded with various different colonies of bacteria, different microorganisms, little crustaceans, potentially corals and algaes and other things which are harbored in and on the rock. So over time, the rock will actually grow. So though this is just calcium carbonate as the base structure with microorganisms in and on it, if you left this rock in this, in this aquarium in the right water conditions for a long period of time, there is every possibility that corals will start to sprout out of the rock, which may have just been little spores. And then these corals that spout out of the rock could grow into any sort of formation such as this. And the thing that's quite amazing is that not only do the corals grow that are on the rock, but the rock itself actually grows because the rock itself gets lined in what's called coralline algae. So this beautiful pink algae that grows on the surface of the rock actually means the rock itself is physically growing. So the coral will excrete the coral and algae will excrete calcium carbonate and actually grow the rock. So therefore, if you have a hard coral in the aquarium and then you have some rock next to the hard coral, there is every possibility that the heart that the rock will grow the hard coral into the the rock itself to become physically one piece. So then if you pulled out that rock and that coral they're physically one piece. The soft corals on the other hand have the capacity to grow and grow onto the rock itself also making it physically one piece. So either you started out with a whole bunch of rocks and this has grown out of it or more likely you've gone and put corals onto the rock then with time the soft corals grow on to the rock and fuse the rock together making it become one or the rock itself grows with coralline algae and fuses the coral to the rock making it one and where two rocks meet each other the coralline algae that grows on both pieces of rock will end up fusing and growing that rock into one so therefore, if you have the correct nice high calcium carbonate magnesium pH levels in this tank while maintaining low nitrate and phosphate levels, it is possible for this whole reef to convert over time into one physical clump, which besides the fact that it will grow to the back wall, and in this case you can see all the coralline algae growing all over the back wall of the aquarium and actually growing the the rock itself into the aquarium itself as well, making it work, function, and physically be as one. If you snap that off, you could literally, technically, pick up that whole reef as one solid structure. Probably won't happen, it'll probably all fall apart, but the, th the, the principle that I'm trying to get across is that a coral reef is one um, entity and there are many parts that make up a coral reef and they work with each other and grow into each other and as well as that there's also the the um, the advent of competition so one coral will grow into and dominate and take over another coral and um, so therefore watching where the corals are in reference to competition is another thing. So if you've got a very dominant coral, such as this anthalae here, you might consider removing some of it so it doesn't dominate the rest of your corals and that's what they call fragging. So you can frag off little bits of it and you can go and put that into someone else's aquarium and they might really appreciate it. Because it might, what might be a weed in your tank might be a treasure in someone else's tank.